What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. Today we're going to be setting up the Chato Reactor for the 30 gallon Triton Method test build. Now I know in the last build video I did for this uh, setup you guys were talking about it's not going to work because uh, you need to have a refugium that's about 30% of your water volume, yada yada yada. Everybody is an expert, I get it. But the reality is this is a test build. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fill it up with uh, Acropora, put the Chato Reactor on there. We're going to start dosing the Trite Method, and we're going to see if it works, hence the reason why it's a test build. If it doesn't work, if nutrient levels be become too high for whatever reason, uh, we'll just stop doing it, and we'll go to another method. Maybe we'll try something else with KZ. Maybe we'll put Zeovit on it. Who knows? But this is a test build, and we're going to see if it works. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the LEDs I decided to go with for this build. Now, it is going to be a warm white 300K uh, dimmable waterproof uh, LEDs that are about 16 and a half feet long, and it comes with a power supply. Now, I did also purchase the remote because, as I mentioned previously, it's not going to be hook hooked up to the Apex right now, and I figured the remote just make it easier than having to go back there and plug and unplug things uh, every day. And uh, yeah, I think the remote was like four or five bucks, so it wasn't that much more. Either way, um, I decided to go with 3K because that seems to be the most popular thing that I'm seeing on the forums. And I'm basically just imitating what everybody else has done on the forums that have been successful and kind of see what works for me. I was also thinking about maybe doing a red and blue LED strip and kind of putting it with uh, these lights down the road. And maybe I'll test that later to see if the combination between the two uh, will uh, increase growth. But uh, we'll try that a little bit later and kind of see if it works. So I went ahead and did a quick test just to make sure that they worked and everything was good to go. I also tested the uh, remote real quick and uh, I accidentally hit the um, the pulse mode, which is just obnoxious. But you can at least dim it down if you wanted to. I don't see why you would ever need to do that. I simply just use the on and off feature. I keep it at a 100% uh, because I want to get the most out of the light. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's not something that is very fun to use because the IR, the control between uh, the, the fixture and the remote, you kind of have to be like within uh, two feet of it to get it to even work. So uh, it, it will work for now, at least until I get the apex hooked up to it. So here is a closer look at the light strip just in case you needed to cut it. Uh, I don't see why you would, but for whatever reason, maybe you have a smaller reactor and you can't fit all 16 and a half feet. You can simply cut where it's shown on the mark there and the light strip will work perfectly fine. When it came to putting this light strip around here, it's pretty easy. Uh, because it is waterproof, it has that rubbery outside that just sticks to the side of the canister. Of course, you don't want it to be wet so it doesn't slide around. Um, and I went ahead and put a zip tie on the bottom just to hold it in place while I wrap the rest of the light. Now, I did end up uh, actually uh, super gluing the end uh, to the canister just because I didn't want to have the zip tie be the only thing holding it in place. And I don't really have any plans of using this reactor for any other setup besides this. So having some super glue on there really wasn't a big deal. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, guys. Just go ahead and start wrapping it. Uh, lights facing inwards, obviously, and then just go all the way around. I'm pretty OCD about stuff like this, so it took me probably four or five uh, times to get it to look the way I wanted to, which is just, I think, is a curse in this hobby to have that kind of uh, that kind of situation or that kind of issue. Uh, everything has to be, you know, center right, perfect. Uh, it's kind of frustrating, honestly. Uh, but either way, wrap it around and um, go ahead and zip tie the top. You can, like I mentioned, put super glue on the ends to hold it in place. But uh, that's it, guys. It's pretty simple setup. And uh, once it was done, I went ahead and did a quick test to see what it looked like. And bam, it was definitely bright. Uh, there's a ton of light uh, coming out of this uh, canister here. And actually, it fills up the entire fish room when I have the doors open on the stand, which is awesome. I did a quick look down inside just to see uh, kind of what it looked like. And uh, yeah, I mean, if that doesn't grow macroalgae, I don't think anything will at this point. Now, once we have everything put together, we're going to go ahead and pull some macroalgae out of the refugium. I grabbed some Chato and a little bit of Calerpa. And uh, I put some Calerpa in there because... Uh, Triton recommends having different types of macroalgae uh, besides just Chato. So uh, just stuff it in there. As you can see, it's just a small ball. And uh, I actually have to put it down a little bit, push it to the side, because I have to slide this uh, tube uh, down past it without getting it caught and kind of uh, pushed against the bottom of the canister. But it just slides by, goes right down, and uh, holds it in place. And uh, honestly, it, it just works out so perfectly with this reactor. I think that, uh, you know, I'm glad that I didn't sell this. I had an opportunity to sell it a couple times, and I'm just glad that I kept it. Um, and a buddy of mine's been telling me, you need to keep stuff because you never know when you're going to need it again. And I've been just keeping crap around the house, and uh, it actually worked out well this time. Okay, now that we have our reactor finished, let's go ahead and hook it up to the system. Now, as you can see here, I have a really simple layout when it comes to the hoses. The main feed line has a ball valve on it, which allows me to turn off all the flow. And I don't have to worry about siphoning any water out once I unhook it from the reactor. After that, the uh, return line goes all the way up to the tank, which where it actually hangs out of the water just a little bit. So when I do unhook this hose, it only siphons the water that's currently in the hose out and doesn't pull anything out of the back of the display. 
And uh, yeah, guys, it's a really simple setup. I'm glad that I did it this way. I can do maintenance on either one of the reactors. And, uh, you know, if maintenance is easy, you're going to continue to do it. And that's the uh, most important thing. Yeah, guys, that's about it. All I have to do is go ahead and turn the ball valve, adjust the flow to this, as well as the carbon and GFO reactor. And uh, that's it, guys. It's a really easy setup. And uh, I will post a couple pictures here of it, what it was uh, basically uh, three or four days later. And I will do an update on this reactor in two weeks. Uh, when we start really diving in uh, to that Triton method. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about this reactor, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Now, I do want to give you guys a quick update. The 300 gallon, uh, if you haven't uh, been following all the videos, uh, basically the sump will be shipped on the 24th. We'll start doing that installation. Uh, basically, I just have to get a return pump and uh, an auto top off, and we're good to go regarding plumbing and aquascaping. Now, we're still waiting on the lighting, so if you want to support the lighting and support this build, uh, go ahead and check out the fishofhex.com, purchase coral, because all those funds, uh, for the exception of what we're donating to the Hurricane Harvey victims, will be going towards uh, this new build. So go ahead and uh, check that out. Now, if you guys are going to the frag swap on the 21st, um, if you want to buy coral for me and you want to bypass the shipping, go ahead and purchase now and select local pickup at um, checkout and I can bring that stuff with me to the swap. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you next time. Peace.